In this video tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to solve equations using models. And these models use the algebra tiles. So we'll just review how the algebra tiles work. Uh, this is the unit tile, and this represents a value of positive 1. So if you have 5 of these, your value will be positive 5. And the red represents the negative tile, the negative unit tile. So if you have 5 of these, it would represent a value of negative 5. The variable tile is a rectangle and it represents a value of um, x or 1x, the unknown. So we don't know what the value of this is and the negative variable tile represents negative 1x. And so if I have three of these red tiles, I would have a value of negative 3x. So this equation, x plus negative 2 equals 3, would be represented this way with the algebra tiles, x plus negative 2 equals 3. Now what we want, are trying to do when we solve an equation like this is we're trying to find the value of x. So we need to find x by itself. We need to, in the end, be able to say x equals something. Now on this side of the equation we've got one variable tile and two negative unit tiles. So somehow we want to eliminate or get rid of these two negative tiles. Now one way to do that is what we call zeroing them out. So making them into zero by creating zero pairs from them. So what we can do is just add two positive tiles to this side of the equation and that will eliminate whatever is here because these will now be zero pairs. But there's a little bit of a problem because we've just added two items, two unit tiles, to this side of the equation. So in fact this equation that we have right now is not a true equation. It is not an it's not equal because if we add something to one side of the equation we also must add it to the other side. So let's add two positive unit tiles to this side of the equation as well. So now we have a balanced equation. In other words our equation is now equal again because we added two tiles to this side, two tiles to that side and so it is now equal again. So because we on, on this side of the equation we have two zero pairs, we can in fact eliminate them. So if I take this zero pair, remember a positive and a negative equals zero. If I take this zero pair, I can actually eliminate those. And I am left with just the variable tile on this side. So if I was to rewrite this equation, I would have my x on this side just the x because that's all that's left and on the other side of the equation I would have my positive 5. So x equals 5 or positive 5. So my value of x is 5. So I could write x equals 5. Now what I have to do is verify the value of x by substituting it back into the equation to see if it fits. So I've just got my equation here and I'm going to take the value that I've come up with and substitute it back into the equation. 5 plus negative 2 equals 3 and this side of the equation has a value of 3. 3 equals 3. So yes, that would be the answer.